Hey guys, today we're gonna to be checking out the Nightcore BP23 backpack, which is a pretty interesting tactical everyday carry bag. We featured a few different offerings from Nightcore on the channel in the past, and they always offer a pretty nice feature set and a more budget-friendly price point. Uh, and the BP23 in particular piqued my interest due to its size, and it seemed to have a pretty interesting organizational layout. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience using it. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, the aesthetic here is pretty tactical and functional so you have plenty of attachment points all throughout the bag, molly webbing on the front, on the bottom, on the sides, you have velcro areas where you can customize the bag handles so it's not a minimal bag by any means but it's not so overwhelmingly technical feeling that i would be uncomfortable taking it into the office or exploring the city and it's also an aesthetic that's going to work well for taking it into the outdoors or for traveling as far as the materials the bag is made out of a 600d polyester which is meant to be wear proof and weather resistant this helps keep the bag pretty light so far the material has held up well it's not gonna be as rugged as something like 1680D ballistic nylon or anything like that, but it does feel like a material that's still gonna be able to handle your everyday usage just fine. And then you also have some well-protected zippers throughout the bag to help keep your items protected from the elements. I don't believe these are YKK, but they have worked very smoothly so far. Continuing along the outside of the bag, you have plenty of options for customizing the bag. As mentioned, you have molly webbing all around the bag so you can attach things with a carabiner such as a hero clip. You can also customize it with molly compatible pouches. You have a few hook and loop areas where you can customize it with patches. So, you know, that's something that you like to do. There's also a variety of pouches that may also work with a hook and loop backing. Uh, and then you have handles all around the bag, which is really nice to give you a lot of options with how you can actually carry the bag. So you have handles on each side of the bag and then also at the top and on the front. And all of these have a pretty thin sort of material there. It feels durable. It's not super padded, but it does help keep the bulk and weight of the bag down. Again, I like that they're on each side and this one on the bottom is particularly useful if you're loading this into an overhead storage compartment or something like that. One thing to note on the exterior is that you don't have an external water bottle pocket, which would have been nice to see. Of course, with the webbing that's provided here, you could potentially add a separate water bottle pocket that's Molly compatible. Moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 23 liters, which is a really great daily bag size in my opinion. I was able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me and it didn't feel like the bag was super packed out, so it gave me some flexibility and I like that even when the bag is full, it maintains a pretty slim silhouette and hugged my back nicely, which made it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying on to most domestic and international airlines. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. The straps have a decent amount of padding and then they also have a breathable mesh on the inside to help prevent moisture from building up. And they have a pretty nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. On the straps, you also have a few attachment points where you could potentially hang your sunglasses or clip on a light or something like that. You have some D-rings as well. And then you have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. At the bottom of the straps, you have buckles that allow you to release the straps quickly. This is gonna be great if you wanna actually tuck the straps away to make it easier to stow the bag. This can also be good for just taking the bag off quickly without losing the particular length that you have on the straps. I like that they also have a plastic strap keeper here, which helps kind of manage all the straps that the bag has. And this can also be a good security feature if you clip this around uh, you know, your seat or your table when you're sitting down. The back panel has also been pretty comfortable. You have a nice amount of padding distributed all throughout the back. And although there's not a ton of elevation or air channels, which would have been nice to see to give you some extra airflow, you do have the same mesh that we saw on the straps to help prevent moisture from building up. While we're on the back paneling, I'll also call out this strap that's located here, which is gonna work as a luggage pass-through to allow you to rest this on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a really nice variety of pockets all throughout. This is an area where it really stands out. Starting off on the front, you have this slanted quick access pocket with a well-protected zipper that's gonna be great for any items that you grab a little bit more regularly 
during the day. At the moment in this pocket, I currently have a pair of sunglasses. And then I also have the Tom Bin Ghost Will pouch that has some of these smaller EDC and tech items that I typically have with me. At the top, you have another easily accessible compartment that's gonna be great for the items that I grab most during the day. This is where I'll typically have some of my tech and more delicate items. This compartment is nice because it does have a soft kind of fleece lining to help prevent against scratching and a decent amount of space. Currently what I have here is my Apple AirPods and then I also have a lightning cable to charge my phone and my tablet. Next up, there is a larger admin area that has some nice internal organization. This area is secured with this Velcro flap that also has the quick access pocket. It keeps this area closed, but easily accessible. You can just kind of tear this open if you want to grab something from the top. But what's nice about this compartment is it actually opens up fully clamshell and you have a lot of flexibility with how you can you know, open this compartment up with the zippers that are here. So if you're you know, riding on your bike or walking and you swing the bag around, you can open up this side and access some of the pockets that we'll take a look at. Likewise, on the other side, whether you're righty or lefty, this is a nice sort of addition that I haven't seen in a ton of bags, uh, but I'll go ahead and open this up flat. And so you can get full visibility into everything that's in this compartment. I'll start on the lid as there's just one mesh zippered compartment, but with a decent amount of space, I like that you can see what's in this compartment and that it keeps anything that's in here secure in the compartment. If you open it up flat, it's not gonna fall out accidentally. At the moment, I just have some Band-Aids and ointment here. And then moving on to the other side, first thing I'll mention is that you have these pockets here that are kind of hook and loop backing. So if you have pouches that are tear away, you can add them here and also add additional patches here if that's the type of thing that you want to do. Um, and then here you have a larger slip pocket that's a little bit taller. So it's going to be good for accessories such as a notebook or maybe a tablet if you want to be able to access it quickly. In this compartment, I don't really have anything else. It also doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So it is a little bit protected when you place the bag down. And then you have four slip pockets here, again, that are accessible from the side. And it's really interesting that these don't, they, they share volume. So if you, you can't put two bulky items in here together, but they are separate. So you don't have two items kind of in the same compartment here. So it's kind of like they're on top of each other like that. So nice that you have plenty of options for using these and configuring it for the items that you might reach the bag around to grab. I currently just have a little manicure set in here and then I have a portable battery. I didn't have too many other items as I just don't carry that much, but really like the flexibility offered by this layout here. And then the last area that we're gonna be taking a look at is the main compartment. And this has a nice clamshell style opening. Again, so you have full visibility into the compartment, also makes for pretty easy packing. And 23 liters of space, you know, you have a lot of flexibility with what you can store with this layout, even some bulkier items. Diving into what I have here, I have a packable rain jacket, and then I have my Beat Studio wireless headphones with their hard shell case. I have the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch, which I really like as far as uh, my remote work pouch that just stands up next to me when I'm at a desk. And then I have the DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. And that's the items that I have just kind of floating around loosely. Now that the compartment is a little bit empty, you can get a look at some of the other organization that's provided. You don't have external water bottle pockets, but you do have two slip pockets on the side, which are gonna be good for securing a water bottle or an umbrella. I'm not always crazy about this as my laptop is in this compartment, so if there happens to be a spill, it might still be a bit of a risk, but at least there is an area to keep the water bottle standing up straight. At the moment, I have the 20 ounce water bottle that you've seen in a lot of my other daily bag videos, and that fit in there very easily, so I probably could have fit something a little bit larger just keeping in mind the amount of volume that that might take up with the other items that are in this area. With the layout and the amount of space that's offered here, I could also see myself using this for minimal travel. This would be able to hold my double-sided packing cube, a dot kit, an extra pair of shoes, and I'd be able to use this for a longer weekend trip. And while we're talking about travel, one additional accessory that Nightcore sent over for me to test out, I haven't used this as much, as I'm not always a big sling guy, uh, but I thought this was an interesting pouch. This is their SL4, uh, I believe. So it's a sling bag that they've released recently and it's, you can see, very thin and simple. So this is something that can work as a tech pouch since you have the clips that allow you to fully remove the shoulder strap. Uh, it's very lightweight and this might also be a great thing to pack into a travel bag or into your daily bag if you want something a little bit more minimal to carry with you 
on your day to day. It has a nice pocketing layout. It's pretty simple overall. So you have a few external compartments here, a smaller one, quick access, and then a larger one where you could store something like a tablet or your sunglasses. And then you have one on the back as well. It might be good for your wallet, notebook. So, you know, very nice, simple sling bag. Nightcore has released a few. We featured one of them on the channel in the past. Um, and if you're just looking for a very simple kind of pouch sling bag hybrid that packs away really flat, this may be worth checking out. On the back of this main compartment, you have some built-in organization. So you have two deep slip pockets here that have mesh again, so you can see what's on the inside. I just placed my magic mouse in this compartment to just kind of show the space. I don't typically use these slip pockets too much as I put most of my stuff in pouches. I don't like that this causes bulges, so it can kind of make it a little bit harder to pack stuff out, but they're here if you need them. It's not super elastic, so it has a pretty fixed volume, but enough space to be useful. Behind that, you have another slip pocket. Uh, this is where I typically store my tablet. Uh, so I have the iPad mini in there with a the case. This isn't a super padded sleeve or anything like that, but it's still nice to have kind of a separate area to keep it protected from the other items in the compartment. And then you also have a padded laptop sleeve, which is secured with this Velcro strap, which is always nice. This is gonna be able to hold up to a 15 or 16 inch laptop. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. And I can imagine with a taller device, it might be a little bit hard to get it out if everything is packed out. It might kind of run into the lip here, but for my size of device, this worked pretty well. The sleeve is a little bit more padded than the slip pocket that we saw earlier. It's also pulled up off the bottom of the ground, so you're gonna have a little bit more peace of mind when you're placing the bag down. And so pulling my device out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And this does come up a decent amount, so if you happen to have a thicker device, or you wanna use a case with your laptop, it should be able to fit in there comfortably. No sort of fleece lining or anything like that, but with the amount of padding that's added on the sleeve and the fact that it's pulled up, it still feels like my device is gonna be well protected throughout the day. And then on the lid of this compartment, you have one additional zippered mesh compartment. So plenty of space here. Again, you can see what's on the inside and so many different pockets throughout the bag. So I was kind of running out of accessories to toss into each one of them. At the moment in this one, I just have a deck of playing cards and then I also have the wall adapter from Anchor that I featured in a lot of videos recently. You can charge my laptop, tablet, phone. So really versatile, small accessory, but this has plenty of volume if you wanna store some toiletries and medicines, um, other tech accessories and chargers. Sometimes I put my laptop charger in here. So a lot of flexibility. And in general, really love the layout of this main area and throughout the rest of the bag. I was really impressed with how many organizational options were provided. And if you're looking for a versatile EDC pack that's gonna give you a nice amount of space and organization, this is gonna be a solid option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Nightcore BP23 over the past couple of weeks. I'll make sure to include a link in the description below to Nightcore's site if you wanna learn a little bit more about the bag and to any websites where you can purchase this bag in the US. Uh, generally, Nightcore's bags come in at pretty competitive price points to other similar bags in their category, uh, but there are gonna be some other great options that are gonna be worth considering. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the 511 Rush 12, which was a really nice, tactical EDC bag. It has a lot of molly webbing on the exterior so you can customize it with pouches and attach things with carabiners. It's a very solid build quality, really rugged bag, particularly for the price point that it comes in at. YKK zippers, the updated version has a padded and suspended laptop sleeve, great organizational layout, clamshell style opening. So really versatile, solid bag. And if you're looking for something with this type of aesthetics, it's gonna offer a little bit more solid build quality and that's gonna be a great option to consider. The next bag this made me think of is the Fjall Raven Raven 20. We've looked at the Raven 28 and 20 on the channel in the past. They were recently updated to include a more breathable back panel. I really love the organization on both sizes of the bag. The 20 is probably a little bit closer in size to this one. Can hold quite a bit. Got a well padded laptop compartment, a great build quality. It's comfortable to wear. And if you're looking for this type of a bag and something that's got less of a tactical vibe, then that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. Another bag this made me think of is the Mystery Ranch Urban Assault 24. Doesn't necessarily look the same aesthetically, but they both have a really kind of versatile sort of vibe at 24 liters. It's gonna be able to hold a little bit more than this bag here. It's got a great build quality, aqua guarded YKK zippers, separate 
suspended and well padded laptop compartment one of the most comfortable harness systems on the market it's got the tri-zip opening which is a nice alternative to a clamshell style bag so you can open it from the top grab what you need or if you want to grab something from the bottom you can unzip it and easily reach whatever you need to it's got external water bottle pockets and if you're looking for you know a versatile bag in that size range that's going to come in at a pretty reasonable price point under 200 dollars and that's going to be a great option to take a look at and then the last option that I'll mention here, if you have a little bit of a higher budget, is the Evergood CPL24, which is one of my favorite EDC bags of all time. I really love the organizational layout of that bag. It's just got pockets that are very easy to use. They have their own volume. It has a well-padded laptop compartment, and it was recently updated to include a new fabric and back panel, so it's got a lot more breathability to a bag that was already really comfortable. I haven't had a chance to test that out on the CPL, but if you've seen my video for the CHZ22 or the CTB35, you can kind of see what that back panel is like. So just a really solid all-purpose bag, works great in the outdoors or in the city. I really like the minimal aesthetic. And so if you're looking for something durable, versatile, that's kind of like this, but that's just gonna give you a little bit more durability and flexibility, then that's gonna be a great option to consider. With that being said, the Nightcore BP23 holds up pretty well against all those options. And if you're looking for something that has a tactical vibe that's not overwhelming, that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility as far as its organizational layout, and that's gonna be comfortable to wear, this is gonna be a solid option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Nightcore BP23 and how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there are any similar options that you're thinking I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.